Have you ever been labelled a control freak? Rage, I finished the dishes. We can go to the gym now. Wait, wait. What? No, you haven't. You haven't done the dishes. I told you to dry the dishes. I told you to put the dishes away. I told you to clean them. I mean, what is this? And I told you not to use my headphones. Sometimes obsessive and controlling tendencies like being a clean freak mm -hmm. can create more stress than necessary, especially when it ends up in an argument. Yeah. In this video, we're going to chat to you about how you can rein in your inner control freak and get some calm back. We're here with Chloe and Rachel and we, we are the wellness, wellness Twins, bringing you the best wellness tips and tools to get your health back on track naturally. Controlling others and your environment can lead to relationship rifts and some pretty nasty hair pulling. Mm -hmm. Ugh, why can't you just do what I tell you to do? Oh, ah, ah. For some... Controlling their environment is a requirement to make them feel calm and at ease on the inside. I guess I'll do it like I always do. Oh, what is that? I feel so much better now. Now we can go to the gym. Freak. Managing the world around us, including people and things, can seem like the best way to gain a sense of order and control in our lives, especially when we're feeling really stressed out. But trying to control our external environment can often make us feel way more stressed. And that's because the focus is on others and not on ourselves. And at the end of the day, we can only control ourselves. Learning to create a calmer environment for yourself needs to start within yourself, not with other people. I totally, totally agree. And that's because trying to control other people's actions is impossible, which leads to more stress and more anxiety. Rach, how can our viewers learn how to lower their expectations, feel calmer, less reactive during times of stress? Well, Chloe, we're gonna give our viewers those three tips right now. Tip number one is awareness. Become aware of how you feel before you react. For example, next time you notice someone has made a mess, before reacting, pause and become aware of the feelings and the emotions that arise within you. Because when you start to have the awareness, then you actually start to make a choice about how you want to react and respond to that situation. And I can tell you now, this is quite the self-discovery process. You're going to be learning a lot about yourself and how you're feeling. Rage, I finished the dishes. We can go to the gym now. Great, let's go. Good way. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, nice headphones. Hmm, why thank you. Tip number two, manage expectations. Okay, so start to accept 
other people's habits as they are. If you want to clean up someone else's mess, then remind yourself that you're choosing to do that because you want to, because of your own expectations and your own cleaning tendencies. Don't impose your own expectations onto others and try to control them to make you feel calm and relaxed because that's going to cause you to end up more frustrated and stressed than necessary. And if that's the case, then maybe it's time you start to reconsider your own rules and expectations and remind yourself that it's not perfect, but it's done. Tip number three, train yourself to relax first before trying to control your environment or obsessively clean. You'll find that when you train yourself to feel calm first, the intensity to frantically clean and to frantically control will lessen because you're fulfilling your need to relax first, which is then training you to feel calm regardless of what's happening in your environment. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it's giving you some tips on how to ease your inner control freak and be more at peace with your environment. And question of the day, we want to know what are your control freak tendencies? Leave us a comment in the box below. And if you have any ideas on future videos, then also pop that in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time, we're the Wellness Twins, empowering you to nourish your body, rewire your mindset, and, and ignite change. change.